ladies and gents welcome back another wonderful day of lightroom we're gonna be looking at lightroom classic if you have lightroom cc which is the newest version uh, this still applies to you but it's a different whole functionality so i'll see if i can make another video about that later on if you have it but i know that myself and uh, my students uh, we use a classic one because it's, it's just more familiar and it also seems to have a lot more easy functioning parts right in front of you instead of having to dig you don't have to dig anywhere but what we're going to be doing is taking what i did in the last video which is take a green screen let me just close this off green screen i remove the green screen which is another video and should you have to get rid of all that but the problem is we still have a little bit of an edge around the hair and everything else a little green glow edge i'm going to show you how to get rid of that and the best and easiest way that i find is in lightroom so let's just go right ahead and do that. I'm going to open up Lightroom. What I'm going to do is drag it in and show you how to do that. So I'm going to take my Photoshop saved file here, drag it into Lightroom. So go file, uh, import photos and videos, and then just drag it into that spot. It says no photos imported right now for myself. And it will put it right there. Double click it and it opens it right up and then hit import. And then I have my current Photoshop file imported. You don't have to import a JPEG or a PNG. You can import the Photoshop file, which keeps the background transparency there, which is really great. Let's go back to Lightroom. Once it's imported, double click your photo and it shows up. It gives it a white background by default. That's fine, just ignore that. I'm going to zoom in and you can still see the green outside layer. So the first thing you're gonna do is go over here to develop and this will bring up all your options. You will then, let me just close everything off just to show you the list you will have. Go up, basic, histogram could stay, this might be fine. Uh, what we have is all these different functionalities here. The first thing I want you to do is go down here to lens correction. And we're gonna use a technique that is usually placed when we get uh, purple glows in the outside of, uh, let's say wrong lighting or or photo data file errors or, or many different things. So lens cor correction, we're gonna go over to the uh, drop down layer and it might be on profile right now. Uh, you can hit remove chromatic aberrations. This might help you look up here. Uh, you can see it changed just a bit. There's a few things in here that it fixed, which is fine. Oh, you don't need this. I don't need this right now. You might want it. Um, go over to manual. What we're gonna do is hit this little uh, color selecting brush or dropper and we're going to hover over the spot we want and pick a spot where it is the most even green just kind of eyeball it a bit and I'm going to pick so if I go too far it goes a bit more brown you can see in that little box popping up here too far out it's too wide I'm going to go right between that to about here where it's a nice even green next go back over here to your D or your uh, lens correction. And we are gonna adjust a few of these things here. We're gonna adjust the amount. So if I bring this up, it doesn't do very much right now. But the biggest thing down here is the green hue. I'm gonna separate it, because right now it's set to a green zone. I'm gonna take this first little dial here on the right and bring it over to the blue, and take the other dial and bring it over to the brown. And then the green is pulled away from, or pulling away from the green. You can see it's already gotten a little bit better. And that's good. Maybe if I pull this even further, it doesn't do a ton. I don't want to overextend it. Uh, a good quick tip is to not go all the way to the ends of all these little dials, because it's usually way past the extremes. They give you a large range. So just make sure you kind of take your time and figure out where a good range is between things. I think that's a pretty good spot. The first amount is gonna be for the purple stuff. And this might not apply for you, but I'm gonna use it anyways and it just kind of evens out the brown a bit. I can see it on my screen. Maybe you can't, am I moving it? Yeah, a little bit of a difference on my screen. That's this thing right here. I can even adjust this as well. And this is adjusting the different purple and uh, orange hues or blue and orange and purple in the middle. But down here, the green amount, I'm gonna go really far up here. And now look at that. It's almost gone. If I bring this down to zero, it's all back to original. This is the original part. Let's go back to Photoshop and zoom in as well. You can see how bright that is. 
and then we have the same thing here bring this way up and now look at that that's pretty simple how it works and it's really well done uh, that's good let's scroll down I change that great okay lens correction is done hit escape and I have my green edges 95% gone. There's a bit of a glow you can see in the lighter spots this is the lighting stuff, the reflection off the background, mixed with the camera lights a little bit here. That's okay. The next step we're going to do is we are going to even it out. So the first part of the video is to get rid of the green. We just did that. If you're done, go ahead, enjoy, have fun, export your photo. Um, I suggest also not color grading your photo until after you remove the green screen entirely, including that glow on the edge. So now that I've done that, I can go over here to my basic and I can adjust a few things here. If you want to go to uh, profiles, you can change different stuff here and, and go to auto profile and whatever else, but it might you might not like it. Um, if you change, let's say, one of these dials here, just double click the name and it goes back to zero. If you want to see what's happening in a really clear way, hit L on your keyboard and it removes the background in half, hit L again, and you can really see the photo. The background goes to black, which makes it really easy to see everything nicely. I think you can see that. Yeah, you can. Good. And then there's a few other key commands you can look up if you're interested. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the contrast. I'm gonna bring it up just a bit, not too much. Highlights, bring those down just a tiny bit. Shadows, I want slightly darker shadows whites i would like that a bit brighter a bit more of a glow and the blacks a, a bit more of a slightly deeper black and this is a general thing go down here texture bring that right up look at that you can see every single pore i don't want that so if you're doing somebody and they make a quick hint and say um can you make my skin look smooth you can use this texture thing just to bring it down just a bit and if I zoom in just to show you, look at the, my forehead here, default texture. You can see a few of the pores and lines. Uh, the nose has a lot of weird colors on it. And then if I bring it down, it smooths it out a lot. If you go down too much, the hair and everything else, it looks like a 70s airbrush. It's just brutal. So just bring it down, maybe minus five to 10 points, 12. Let's go to minus 10, and that's good. Clarity. I'm going to leave that a default. Dehaze is a classic. Uh, this one, you can just mess around with. This depends on the photo and the lighting. I have some pretty bright, bright lighting. I don't need very much of that right now. Uh, vibrance is a lot of fun. So this brings up the colors. Now, right now, I want to get rid of some of this red, and I will in a minute. But the vibrance, I'm going to bring it up because I want some nice, bright contrast between colors. And saturation does a similar thing. There is a difference. Uh, but right now I'm going to bring them up just a bit and get some nice colors going. Good. Basic is done. Tone curves. Uh, this is, you can actually select different things like darks and lights and adjust this if you like. We're not going to do that right now. You can mess around if you want. Uh, but we are going to, I forget how to go back to default on this. We're going to change these just a bit. I'm going to bring the highlights down actually by about five bring the lights down a little bit and then darks i want to slightly down i'm going for a little bit of contrast i already brought the lights up a lot above so that's fine shadows it's too dark let's just go default on that uh color here we go uh you can this is one you might not want to do but you can really change the coloring here and you can adjust, let's say, go to blue, right? You can change the color of the blue hue. So anything that's blue, which is my sh shirt reflection in there, as well as my sweater, you can see that's changing that. So if you wanna adjust individual colors of things, just find whatever color it is that you're trying to adjust here. Saturation, I'll bring it up. That's too bright. Like there, there's a bit of a give and take here. Let's go back to red. I want to get rid of some of that red. Go more on the yellow-orange side. There we go. Now my face is a bit more smooth. 
and then bring the saturation down on the red just a bit just to even out the color tones and the luminance luminance is good right there and then you can go down and do even more here with split toning just mess around with things but leave the lens correction where it is i think this photo is pretty good i'm going to actually go back i'm going to remove some of that purple here in my oh, let's say saturation the purple goes down a bit there we go now the sweater is a nice dark blue with some purple removed from the white color in the my collar you see right here if we go back to default there's some purple reflection and that's from the other blue and everything else adding colors i'm going to bring that down make it more white and bring the saturation up maybe a few points and let's actually fix the blue a bit I think there we go. It's a little bit of a color here. Let me see which button is it? No, it's uh, I did something wrong. There we go. Let's go back to purple and orange. I don't want to be too yellow. All right, well, either way, um, that's the basics of it. You can mess around and, and try these different things here. I think if I had another five minutes to do this, I don't want to waste your time. So mess around with the photos, but the biggest thing is get rid of the green highlight on the outside and we are all finished. So uh, just checking last thing, the very bottom, the boots look pretty good. Everything looks pretty good. It's a bit of a weird thing with this. I think that's from Photoshop. There's little dots down there. I can fix that later. That's pretty good. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.